power is one of the key attributes. Battery life is life. You know, that's the life for the product. And if you're ignoring that, um, you know, that's just totally unacceptable. The two things you look for is you design things to work efficiently, but much more importantly, you design things to do nothing efficiently. Because we do, you know, computers do nothing a lot. And so it's the 98% case that you really want to optimize for power. Work efficiently, but much more importantly, do nothing efficiently. <laughs> Those, you know, it's very simple rules for power management. <laughs> right now, we're totally relying on more architectural ways of lowering the power and power gating things when we're not using them, turning them off, then turning them back on when we need them, and setting up the architecture so that we can really minimize the latency and anticipate when we need something to just turn it on just in time, you know. Instead of relying on the randomness, we, we purposely try to align up activities to create big idle gaps in between the activity, and then if those idle gaps are long enough, then we can shut off all the power. That's really where um, the architecture is, and we have offload accelerators that we run to do specialized media loads or something and be able to put the rest of the platform into a low power state, which means 98% of it's powered off. What we don't want is really designing other hardware that's non-power, but having them being crying babies, coming back and pinging memory every couple milliseconds or microseconds could keep a 35 watt CPU out of its low power state, could keep memory alive, could keep the buses between them alive. And um, I used to give an example of a Bluetooth radio that you know should be about a milliwatt of power you put it on a USB bus, but because of the way the bus was architected, it generates an extra six watts of power because it's pinging memory every millisecond.